Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add products to your Squarespace website in 2024. Of course, whether you're launching a new online store or just adding some new items to an existing one. In today's video, we'll guide you through the process or a step-by-step -step process. Uh, so by the end of this video, you will have your product listed and ready for customers to buy them through your website. So make sure to stick by, let dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser for me here as an example i'm using very for you you can use it where you want go basically of course to the url section all you need here to do just type squarespace.com and hit the enter button of course if it's your first time you'll be taken to this website as you can see the same website so click just on login to login at your account if you have an account if you don't have an account click on get started and if you have like a google apple facebook account uh, you'll be able to go and create or even log in an account with us if you don't want to want to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account so once you're logged in you'll find yourself here basically on the account dashboard right away so we'll need to go and first of all choose like a website that you would like to add products into as an example for me i'll choose this one of course for you if you don't have a website yet you can simply just go here click on create a website you'll be able to create your websites if you need some aid i've already made some videos about it. you can go and check it out i've made even how to create a website using ai if you want to go and check it out as well so for me as an example here i'll just go to this specific website and i'll go and choose i'm going to choose it here's an example i'll find my website let's just see if we scroll down example i have here some plans subscriptions uh, let's see if I have a store. Yeah, I have a store. So I'll just go and click on that store and see an example. So yeah, I have some products in here, but as an example, one product with zero dollar, nothing to do, right? So we would like to add more products. Of course, in order to do so, if we go, let's say to this list channel, of course, like before anything, if you would like to edit some design about your store or something like that, all you need to do is just go and click on edit at the top left corner. Once you click on it, of course, you'll be taken here. Here you can start editing whatever you want on your website. As you can see, like multiple stuff, like add some sections, add some products, change the color, do whatever up to you. Of course, after that, if you want to add your products, just go to this left panel, basically click on marketing in here. Here, of course if you want to add market like the product that you already have like if you want to share them on social media as you can see uh, if you want to give your visitors like a way to subscribe import some existing email subscribers and a lot of other stuff but for me as an example i'll just go here again to selling once i click on that as you can see here i'll find this product option or even here on this list panel as example so it's up to you to choose whatever suits you this or this once you click on it as you can see on this one they'll tell you what you want to sell so your product type determine like uh, certain products settings and features do you want to sell a physical service uh, products for example uh, maybe a gift card member sites uh, video on demand or download course blog uh, whatever you want in here as you can see a lot of options if we go and click in here in products as you can see it will be a little different here you'll find the product that you have as you can see some physical some surfaces some downloads and even some gift cards and you can add whatever you want so for me as an example i'll just go here and add a download well why not i'll click on add the products of course if you don't want to add it you can simply import this from wherever you want as an example you can import this from etsy from shopify from big cattle if you have your products in here uh, you'll be able to do it very easily of course uh, if you don't have it in any of those you can simply just go and import it from wherever you have it and simply just upload it here to squarespace as a csv file basically as simple as that so of course you'll be able to add it so for me i'll just go and add one manually i'll just go here and click on add product once i click on it for me i'll just choose service as example or download why if i choose physical of course i'll have to choose a shipping method and etc i don't want to go through that so i'll just go and choose a service or download so let's just choose download why not here's example all i need to do just fill up all the informations here that's required starting by the name so example i'll just name it test description you can create the description that you want of course it's up to you to use even some ai tools to create a, a captivating like description or good description for you you can add some additional infos if you want to as you can see uh, other than that of course you would like to add the images of that specific uh, like service or download whatever you choose uh inventory as well of course if you want to add the inventory you will have to upload the file of it if it's on sale or not you'll have to choose the price as well organization if you have any just go and enter that selling tools just fill up those informations all the informations that you have necessary 
fill it out and of course at the end here you'll just have the checkouts like the custom font if you want to add any uh, as well as the button of course a custom button if you want to add any of course as well then all you need to do just go and click on publish instead of save if you want to save it for later and to go and add or edit some stuff later you'll be able to do it as simple as that of course after that you'll just hit publish once you hit publish an example for me i already have like a product here as this one if you go to your website as you can see to, store, to the store specifically you'll find this in here of course if you go and click on edits at this top left corner will be taken here so if we some someone as example as a customer click on a specific product that you want to buy or something like that you will go through the checkout experience of course even through edits in your website you can go and click on manage items and from here specifically you can go and add all the items that you want if you go here and click on plus you'll be able to even to add it through here as an example let's say we would like to add now a service instead of a download of course it's going to be the same basically settings it might be a little bit different it's not no big difference also so just add all the necessary informations once you finish everything just go and click on publish to publish it right away into your store if you want to save it to come back to it later to change something it's up to you it's real up to you to do whatever suits you with it so once it's saved as we said so for me i'll just go and cancel here because as you can see i already have a product here you can just go as example alt exits not edits as example let's say uh, I'll click in here of course to preview so I'm on a customer I'll just go and click on it as you can see I'm taking here to this add cart of course you can customize everything about this even this button so if people click on add to cart as you can see it will be added then you can go to the cart from here once you go to the cart of course you can go through checkout just click on checkout to go through checkout experience then here you'll have to start filling up your email your payment information then review everything and if you're sure click on purchase to purchase as you can see because this is zero dollars they'll not ask me like as example to pay something so it's really up to you of course to add whatever suits you then publish it to your store and you should be good to go after that and that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye